For more, we're joined by Albert Bagashan, a spokesperson with the Fair Work Initiative, the group that was leading the strike. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So you're talking really about inequality for interns, particularly from different parts of the world, if they're working for one of these UN bodies. Just explain, how accessible is that UN internship programme? Well, I can give you just a few figures to show how inaccessible are UN internship programmes. Three quarters of UN interns uh, are coming from um, developed world, high income countries, and just half of all interns are coming only from seven countries. Even more interestingly, 25% of all interns are coming only from two countries. This means there are lots of countries, especially up in Africa, who are not at all represented in UN uh, interbody. And this is very problematic when we are talking about reduced inequalities, uh, access, uh, uh, empowering youth, access to job market, etc. And like UN is the uh, world organization who should fight for, uh, for this uh, cause. What would you say to the employer or the business, and this happens in other sectors as well, journalism as well, who says, well, you do sort of get paid in terms of the experience that you get. That's sort of your payment, and that might help you land a really well-paid job. So, therefore, we don't need to pay you. Well, I mean, I will uh, first of all say to these kind of businesses to change their business model, because if they cannot work without employing uh, um, free and cheap workforce, it means that there is a bigger problem. Uh, I will uh, also reply in a more uh, symbolic way, saying that uh, experience doesn't pay my rent, experience doesn't pay, uh, or credits uh, don't pay uh, my food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And in terms that we are saying, of course, there are a lot of people interested in taking to these kind of positions, we shouldn't forget about uh, thousands and millions of people who cannot afford work working for free. And this is a bigger problem here. It is not only about people who are now working and uh, not getting paid. It is about so missed opportunities that we are reducing actually the uh, pool of talents by only giving access to, to these internship opportunities. Only and I'm afraid we have to leave it there. Albert Bashan, really appreciate your time. A spokesperson with the Fair Work Initiative. I'm sorry, didn't have more time.